Good afternoon. Well, what a big Tuesday it is for EFF leader Julius Malema. The case of fraud and corruption against the EFF leader and two other co-accused has been struck off the roll, with the Polokwane High Court ruling that the case has been dragged on for too long. Judge Billy Motley was facing another postponement in this case this morning and he ruled that it's not in the best interest of justice to continue in this way. However, he added that the state could bring the charges against Malema and the co-accused at a later stage. The importance of this ruling is that it now paves the way for Malema to go to Parliament on Thursday afternoon when President Jacob Zuma will be answering questions in the National Assembly. Malema wouldn't have been able to do this if he was stuck in the court case in Polokwane. But I stand before all of you, an innocent man without a dark cloud over my head, that the state has failed for a very long time to bring their case before court. In the High Court in Pretoria, one of the nine police officers being charged with the murder of Mozambican taxi driver Mida Masia has been acquitted. The court found that there was a lack of evidence against Constable Matome Ramatlao. And Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu is back home. He was discharged from a Cape Town hospital this morning where he was once again treated last week for a persistent infection. His daughter says that the infection was due to his treatment for prostate cancer over the past 18 years. With that, we leave the news for today as we get ready to bite into more of it tomorrow.